Lone Wolf Customs Wrecker Build. Try to do you a video of how this thing functions. <clears throat> All right, crank. Bring her up. And of course, just get up here. <clears throat> this is going to be difficult with one hand. Come on. There we go. There. Now I got to do the other side with one hand. It's definitely a multiple hand job. <clears throat> Giggy. See, you got the cable. And uh, Well, she goes there. Which, of course, I put the chains on the longer length. It hits there. There it is down. <laughs> I don't got no, it don't take no effort. <clears throat> But without the thing, you know, free rows. Yeah, it takes no effort, one finger. Then whenever you get it where you want, you just do it a little higher than you're going to use it. Readjust the chain. Like, let's say, right there is where I want it. <clears throat> if I come up here, screw with this chain again, which like I said, would be easier with two hands. Using my belly. <clears throat> hook it. Here, hook it again. I'm on the other side. <sighs> All I gotta do is release the cookie, let her down, weights on the chain, and there he is. And go up, down, whatever. Of course, then <clears throat> I ain't actually built the actual crank crank. But I got this temporary one built. Try to get this in camera. 
with the four volt one. And then this. Crank it up and down. I just made that thing because I couldn't use the original one because everything's in the way. But, <clears throat> there it is. Air hose fail. <coughs> But there it is. It goes up. It goes down. And see the up and down part. It ain't going to hold the weight. The chains are what's going to hold the weight. The up and down just so I can put the boom higher or lower wherever I need to. Most of the time it's going to end up sitting in one spot and never getting moved. The crank for the winch going up and, you know, pulling the cable. That's going to get used a lot. But the up and down, I don't see it being used as much. Maybe go up a little bit to give me a little more clearance if I'm pulling an engine. Or maybe drop it down a little bit so I can get it inside the garage if there's an issue. But Or tight areas or whatever, but I don't see it being much of an issue. I think it'll work just fine. Alright, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment. Bye.